Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to build business and using Bootstrap Ajax and Spring Boot framework. So in backend, I will use Spring Boot Data JPA and on front end I will build the UI using Bootstrap Ajax and HTML CSS. So in backend, I am going to use Pageable interface which is provided by Spring Data JPA. This Pageable interface provides useful information for building pagination for your application. This Pageable interface returns the data in chunks instead of returns all data. So by default it will return 20 records at a time if you do not specify any page size. So I have exposed on get uh, gate mapping REST API here to uh, face the data from database table so if you see in my database table I have total 1000 record if you see here I have total 1000 record and these records I am going to show in UI so if you see here that uh, in this rest method i have uh, one argument that is pageable interface and in the service class i have i have this pageable interface also i am query this uh, repository this repository basically extend the jpa repository from spring data jpa and when i pass to the find all method this pageable interface will return 20 records at a time because I have not specified any size so if I have to specify any size that I have to control from the UI so now when I hit this uh, endpoint then I'll get two parts mainly one is content another one is pageable this pageable so content basically returns the records from the backend and by default it returns 20 records and pageable uh, contains the information regarding the sorting and regarding the uh, page information these informations are useful for building your pagination so when you have lots of data then it is not good idea to show all the data in in a single page so pageable or pagination uh, pagination basically improves uh, user experience so if you see that page number is 0 so page number starts from 0 so this is the very beginning page page size is 20 so each uh, page contains 20 records of is 0 so from the 0th record uh, it is being faced and if you see total elements here total elements 1000 as I saw you in the database that I have total 1000 records total page is 50 so total elements divided by page size becomes the total pages so if you want to uh, say let's say you want to change the page size for this uh, zeroth page then you have to pass this argument page so zeroth number page and size is 5 so at a time 5 records will be returned so now if you see we have total five records and uh, total pages becomes 200 because total elements divided by page size it becomes 200 if you want to specific uh, if you want to query specific page let's say page number six now offset becomes uh, 30 if you want to change the size you can also change it here so this way you have to pass these two query parameters to change your page size and uh, page number so on UI side if you see I have used uh, bootstrap as expagination so here so on f by default uh, on the first page if you see here this is selected and also notice that previous and first uh, links are not enabled here because you are on the first page if you go to the second page then you will see that first and previous links are enabled Similarly, when you are on the last page, your next and last links are not uh, visible here. By default, I am showing 10 links at a time. If you want, you can change this thing. So, always you will get 
10 links 10 numeric links so on ui side code if you see that this is the html css part and bootstrap part so here is the table placeholder this table body populated dynamically here is the pagination uh, where uh, pagination populated dynamically this example will work both on bootstrap 4 and bootstrap 5 so here is the main logic which basically fetches data from the backend side build pagination so this is the size which determines how many pages you want to show i am showing 10 links start page is the uh, which page actually basically you want to show from where so i am populating the table here and building pagination here so this building pagination i have different links next previous uh, numeric links all these things you can check in my tutorial the full source code and what will happen when you click on the next link first link last link etc so that's all about this pagination how to build so you can check my tutorial to get more details thank you for watching this video